right, now on to our new series on Newsy Live that is called The Dark Side of Digital. Do, 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 do. It's a deep dive into the ripple effects of technology in our lives. The Dark Side of Digital. Statistics show that there are 5 billion internet users around the world. Nearly all of them are on social media, and all that scrolling, the posting can actually lead to addiction. For many people, their daily lives are shared in ways previous generations could never have imagined. And most of us are inundated. We're inundated with emails, notifications, likes, tweets, mentions. And if you think all of that has some effect on your brain, well, you are absolutely right. Newsy Stephen Graddock joins me now to explain all of this. Yeah, hey, Veronica. Look, if you are like me or anybody else for that matter. I'm sorry, were you talking? I just, I was scrolling. I there were like <laughs> likes and mentions and. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm addicted. You may, I you may be addicted, down. right? I'm definitely addicted, yes. Yeah, well, here's the thing. So <laughs> you're probably like me or a lot of other folks. You spend most of your day on the phone and on your PCs. In some ways, it's only getting, it's the way of getting by in this interconnected life that we all live. But what happens when you're having trouble logging off or powering down? What if you're losing sleep because you can't stop strolling? That's me. Uh, that's the question we took straight to an expert. Take a look. Ah, the internet. The world is at our fingertips with just a few key strokes. According to a Pew Research study, 85% of Americans say they go online every day. From banking to researching to scrolling on social media, statistics show the number of internet users skyrocketed by 1,000% since 2001. But how much is too much? And when does the internet become an addiction? When we talk about what internet addiction is, it is an inability to step away from our technological devices in a way that begins to impair our daily functioning. No one is immune when it comes to internet addiction. Stats from the Global Web Index show worldwide the average person uses the internet about six hours a day. However, research from the Pew Research Center points out nearly one in three Americans say they're almost constantly online. This is something that we all need to be aware of because if we're not careful, it has the potential to get away from us in ways that we don't even realize. If you are tied to a device all day, every day, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep at night, understand you may have an addiction and not even realize it. Instant gratification from likes, tweets, and memes can give us a little boost of dopamine, making us want to come back for more and more. We need that dopamine over and over and over to feel good. And so we know where we can go. We find those places online. There are always people out there available to us who are willing to communicate, who are willing to give us those dopamine feel goods that we need. And if we're not careful, we may be lost for hours at a time. And the desire for more of that feel good hormone can impact how we present ourselves online. One of the things that the internet gives us is the opportunity to decide and to create for ourselves who we want to be. The hard part is if we create these personalities out of a place uh, due to lower self-esteem, then it makes it very difficult to step back into the person that we actually are, especially if we find that we're living a world online that is more gratifying to us. But what we see isn't always what we get. The chase for instant gratification online can have a dark side in real life. If we're not careful, internet addiction has a way of distorting our actual reality. For so many people, they experience FOMO, that fear of missing out, or even the idea of their life is in constant competition with the world that they see. But what they don't recognize is that everything on the internet has filters. Everything that they see is edited. Nothing is in its raw, pure form. So why does the internet have so much power to draw us in? It's simple. It is hardwired to give you everything you need and to keep you plugged in. The goal here is to curate your sites, curate your life based upon what it is that you need, but recognize that you have to control a machine. Otherwise, that machine has the potential to control you, and that is by design. And while the Internet has the potential to do really, really good things, we also have to be aware of the harm. If you're worried and want to avoid internet addiction, here's a few easy tips. Set time limits on apps. Recognize when you're having trouble disconnecting and take a step back. If you can't and it's affecting your everyday life, 
seek help from a professional.